This day again, we want to, we have to do blue musical. Of six steps, six, three is gone. So we are, we are halfway done. The one that began with us will continue with us. Amen. Amen. Jesus. 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 The first day you are your remembrance, you were put in remembrance of your being joined with him. Yesterday he gave us to know the order in the process of being joined with him. He told us don't fret. He told us, you don't, we, you don't say what you, you don't premeditate, no premeditation. He said, I'll give you back if there is a need and there is a want. I guess I talked about that. Yeah. Today, he said, my knowledge, the knowledge is important. Believe in me, believe in God, believe in me also. In my father's house are many mansions. I'm going where you know and where the way you know. <clears throat> Hallelujah. As you continue with him, from today you begin to tell him I need to move you. So that you know the way, you know where I'm going. They really say, let us know. I don't know. Uh, Thomas says so. He says so. You, uh, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Philip say, ah, uh, let us know the father. He, 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 he said, no, for us. He would not complain. Knowledge of God. At this stage, you are you are at the stage of the true beginning. The stage of the true beginning. You are supposed to drink as a good. You are supposed to do more. This is the Daria and Babu. It's a Padabo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot say, I, I don't want to be in, I want to be talking. That's a possibility. But the beautiful thing in this text, go from verse um, 10, let me see. Do you not believe that I am in the Father? Mm. And the Father in me. Mm. The work that I the work that mm. I speak to you, mm. I do not speak on my own authority. Begin to listen. Uh -huh. But the Father who dwells in me does the work. You see it. Read, 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 read. Believe me that I am in the Father. Yes. And the Father in me. Yes. Or else believe me for the sake of the world themselves. Yes. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, yes. the work that I do, he will do also. Uh -huh. And greater work than this he will do, uh -huh. because I go to my Father. Uh -huh. And whatever you ask in my name, uh -huh. that I will do. That. That I will do. Uh -huh. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Good. I told you the equation of oneness and the equation of glory. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? That is the equation of oneness. When you come to the knowledge, you become one with him. The ass and the lamb from today, they become inseparable. The lamb becomes the ass. The ass becomes the lamb. Everything. 
Hence, by tomorrow, he says, come and wash your feet so that you have part in it. It's not good enough to be one with God and not have be partaker with him. It's not good enough to be called of the same house and you are singled out in, in, uh, in poverty when the house is glamorous and rich. And there is a member of the house that lives in want. Today, he wants to be joined with you. The question of oneness. <clears throat> Go from verse 9 again. Let me hear. Jesus said, said to him, He said to him, Have I been with you so long? I have been so long with you. And yet, you have not known me. Knowledge, knowledge. What brings you to oneness with God is what you know. What separates you from God is what you know. Adam and Eve were in the garden with one knowledge. God had said, the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. And they remain. They were one with God. But as soon as they started, they said, God knows that the day you eat of it, your eyes shall be opened. And he will be like God knowing good from evil. And they brought him another knowledge. The stranger's knowledge. The strange knowledge. And when they come into that strange knowledge, they became separated from God. The knowledge. I told you yesterday there will be a broken, breaking down. Breaking down. Yes, yes, sir. When you are broken down, there is a need for rebuilding. The knowledge you have that is against God is what you take out today. As I say, believe me and believe my father. Don't believe yourself. In your strange knowledge, you have believed, you have been taught to believe yourself. The knowledge the serpent brought to the woman, he said, God knows the day you eat of it, your eyes shall be opened. You will be like God. You will know good from it. You believe in yourself. Every form of believing that you have believed on yourself, today you must exterminate them before you come for washing of it tomorrow. You must take them out. You have worked for so long with a belief system that is your own, that is of man, that is not of Christ, that is not of God. Yet, you are in the household of God thinking you will receive of him. You are not of his. What he did not tell you, you hold on to because somebody said, and you you held that person in high integrity. As DJ told me, whatever anybody did, any, it was including my father. We were at Loggerheads for 12 years. Not because I am fighting him. Not because he did something wrong to me or he beat me. But because he said something wrong about this church. I contended with him seriously. And I told him, he said, walk out of my, I said, I will not be back. And after 10 days, he, 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 he didn't be telling you, he did so many spiritual work. But not one spiritual work. I was going on, he could do it. Could there be a lot of No, he came back here and said, no, was saying. Not one hits me. But that is not the issue. The issue is this. He had to call me. And because I, have, I was taught with a forgiving spirit, I will always appear. When you return, God will return. If I 
can change my knowledge. You become one with God. You are in line with God when you have his knowledge. So you can only have his knowledge when you believe what he told you. What made man fall in the beginning was his ten knowledge. So Jesus began to treat the things after the breaking up, the breaking away, the breaking down. He had to begin to treat and take away the same things. This knowledge is things. That one is not what we say. This is not according to our words. This is not consistent with what I gave you. This is not. So you sit yourself down. You must have judged a lot of people by anything you so for, for God knows what I don't get. Check yourself. Those are the things that have delayed you partaking with God. Even though you come, you wash your feet and you take communion all this year. You see, I guess every disappointment, like they say, is a blessing. God putting us at this level in your world is a blessing in these guys. Because I begin to see by the time we return to the to the larger church, we, we, there's a convergence. There, there is you will be seeing God in a in a clearer face. We'll be seeing the God that says things and brings them to pass. We will be seeing the hand of God. In the house of God, darkness would have been taken away because it's about glory. Now, the moment you come to the point where you know what He said, you believe in what He gave you, you are in Him. He will begin to show you He is in the Father, and the Father is in Him, and then. Glory will come. Glory will come because you now asked for anything, anything. Did he say so? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Read it for me. Let me hear that one. And whatever you ask in my in my name, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the, the Son. The glory, the glory in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, uh, I will do it. <laughs> What what a, a what what an open check? I was I was making an illustration to some people I was talking to before the service, and I told them the Lamb of God was the evaluating figure. For all that God created and God had rest. Are you getting it? And then the Lamb came and said, Whatever you ask in my name, his name is equated to rest. Whatever you ask in rest, in God's rest, he would give you. No wonder he said, learn of me, and me can do it, and you shall find rest. rest. But first, come to me. I want to give you rest, because I have, what I am equated to from the beginning is what? Yes. The rest of what? Come to me, all you who labor, and, and uh, every labor, and I will give you rest. I am equated to the rest of what? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Hey. I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for yourself. That's all. The totality of Christ, the totality of the Lamb of God, that is to be slain in remembrance. In this your journey, for your ransom, is rest. And if you don't live in the rest of God, you cannot have rest. Hmm. 
Who here does not give anybody rest? Believe also in me. And if, if you look at Jesus from Sun, from Palm Sunday, from the day he entered Jerusalem till resurrection, till he, he, he ascended, he did not do miracles for anybody. In fact, till, till resurrection, there was no miracle. He was, he was only teaching until he was able to silence. I read the matter, you see, after he answered that question, he said, nobody asked him any question again. He finalized every doubt because he knew there is a reason for a breaking down so that things will be taken out and then man will come to rest. In your journey to rest, knowledge is the key. What knowledge is in you? You know, I've already said something. I said, what God will take you to the entrance of his purpose for your life? But your character and, and knowledge will take you to your place. What knowledge is in you? Here he has told us expressly, from whom you should have knowledge. Believe in God and believe in me also. They, we are the two. The devil introduced belief in yourself. So, so many of you that have believed in yourself. I can do it. Say it, say it, say it, say it. As you say it, you can do it. You don't say it, you know. <laughs> I tell you. Paul made the text. He said, I can only do all things through, Christ, Christ, Christ. through the rest of God that strengthens me. The Lamb of God that was slain, he was his rest. The value of the Lamb is the rest. So, uh, you, the, 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 the top step now is for you to begin to take out strange knowledge. Discipline yourself. This God did not tell me, I formulated it. Go to God. I repent. I am sorry for this formulation. I destroy it. God did not say this. When I said, He said so. God, I am sorry. I repent. Break yourself down. Because if he joins you with him, you like it or not, this is taking one year. If you are joined with him, we still know that you will never partake with him. Through one year, you will just be, you will be on promises. Abraham, God gave him a knowledge. He took two third of God's knowledge and one third of his knowledge, he believed in himself. One third. He suffered. He repented. God took him out, gave him the whole thing. He continued in the journey thing. Guess what? After God came down as a man to bless him, Abraham still believed in himself. You don't understand. God came Genesis 15. I am the Lord, uh, I am your shield, and the exceeding great is saying, hey, what did you give me? I have planned my will. After Maybe, these things, yes. the word of the Lord came to Abraham. After, after Melchizedek, God himself in the priesthood office came and Abraham. blessed Abraham. In God came. Saying, you know, when Tom says and said, yes. Do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Abraham. Abraham. I am your shield. I am your shield. You are exceedingly great reward. You are exceedingly great reward. What Abraham said. He said, Lord God. Lord God. What will you give me? What do you give me? Seeing I go childless. I, I go childless. I am not partaking with you. And the hair of my house is alias. Did, did you see it? Abraham begin to talk his knowledge. Elias, this hair is a is my Damascus. Damascus is 
My hair, yes? Then Abraham, Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offspring. You gave me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my hair. He began to talk his knowledge. Yes? And behold, behold. the word of God, the word of the Lord came to him uh -huh. saying, This one shall not be your hair. Look at, look at God. But one who will come from your own body. God destroyed that knowledge and gave him his own. One born in your house will become your hair. Yes? Then he brought him outside and said, Get out. Look now toward heaven. Yes. And count the stars. <laughs> if you are able to number them. Yes. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. Yes. And he believed in God. Food. And what? And he accounted it to him for righteousness. That's all. Knowledge. What you do? Condemns you. What you know saves you. God told you in your vision so many things. You disagree because it's not according to what you desire. This is not what I want for myself. God cannot write such a thing down for me. I reject it in Jesus' name. You reject God in Jesus' name. It's okay. Go and partake with the devil. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Peter! God came, brought all creeping things that you call them cream and sent them down and said, Peter, kill and eat. Peter said, I know you see God. Although you told us to kill, uh, believe in you and believe God also. I am sorry, this one, I am not eating. These are unclean things. He brought it the second time. He said, and that, he saw heaven open. Yes. And an object like great sheet bound at the four corners. God bless you. Descending to him. Eh. And let down to the earth. Eh. In, in it were all kinds of four footed animals of the earth. Yes. Wild beasts, creeping things, yes. and birds of the yes. earth. And a voice came to him. Saying, rise, Peter, rise, Peter. Kill and eat. Kill and eat. But Peter said, He said, Not so, Lord. Mm -hmm. For I, have I never I, eaten anything common or clean. You were with us all your years. Your three and your years, you were with him. We didn't eat it together. I think you must be a devil. <laughs> Lord, I know you are not doing it. I see you. But this one, I have never eaten one. He is justifying himself. Your knowledge. Believing in yourself justifies yourself. And when you justify yourself, you are condemned before God. Every knowledge that justifies you condemns you before God. No, Lord, no, Lord. I'm not never eating, is it? It's a holy man. Not the holy Peter. I've never eaten any unclean thing on my life. Talk to me. And the boy spoke to him a second time. Uh -huh. What God has pleased, huh. you must not call common. Uh -uh. This was done three times, and the object was taken up into heaven again. So the, he, the device came once, second time. Second time. Second so time. I am sure if I let me say I am Peter, I'll have gone on my name. I forbid you that spirit in Jesus' name. Henceforth, if you the Bible says. <laughs> Everything, every knee shall bow before the Lord. By the name of the Lord Jesus, you demonic spirit appearing as the Lord, bow and get away. And the thing will remain and say, Well, you even call me devil. I'm busy, no problem. I agree. But whatever I have called him, you, you are too small. You understand what God is saying? Yes, what I call clean. Who are you to judge me wrong? What I say is pure, is right. And you got, gather yourself together in multiples and then you say, that thing cannot be right. God cannot do such a thing. What nonsense is that one? To what knowledge is troubling your life? You want to go to go every knowledge that stands. No wonder. For the second Corinthians chapter 10. 
Second Corinthians 10, verse 4. I'm going to give us five. He said, For the weapons of our warfare, weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are not carnal, but mighty. Mighty to God. Go to the pulling down of strongholds. Pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imagination. Uh -huh. And every right thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. The knowledge. Knowledge. You don't come over against the knowledge of God. Exalting yourself. Yes? And bringing into captivity oh, every God. corpse to the obedience of Christ. Mm. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. You see it. And when your obedience is fulfilled, <laughs> is it not? Knowledge. The same Peter who has never eaten any of anything on his life was chastised for eating with the sinners by Paul. God brought that thing. He refused to eat it in the city. He was abused in public. Break yourself down. You know the knowledge. You know what you carry. You bear those things for as long as you have known yourself. What they do is to publicly put you to shame and make God in your life impotent. Yeah. This same knowledge. They put you to public shame and make God, because the relationship between you and God will show God impotent. You will pray. You see, he said, if you come to that knowledge of the oneness between me and my father, he said, you would ask anything. Because the father wants to glory in your true knowledge. Did you get it? He will do it. It's not because those prayers are right. It's not because you arranged them properly. It was not because they were you were holy or you said it you know, with a, an unsinful mind, with a plain mind, a plain true mind. Uh -huh. We are not looking for those ones here. We are looking for the knowledge. The knowledge you carry. Determines your relationship with him. And in that relationship, the power to attend to you for his glory is available. The power to attend to you, to attend to all your matters for his glory. I am believing after this fasting, by the time we, we by, by this time next year, We will be praying that Corona should come back so that <laughs> <laughs> so that we will have this opportunity again. By this time next year, uh, Corona must have gone because it will go. Whether he likes it or not, even if God is angry, after this time, God must begin to see and say, if I have 50, yeah, I can save the land. That is what he told Abraham. Don't worry, if I have 50, I will save the land. So they, they began, it, it was a business thing until then. So if 10 can bear the, the, the joy of the Lord and not the wrath of the mercy of the Lord can be upon them. If 10, Abraham, if, I, if Abraham had said one, God would have said it, I have one. Or how many was speaking for in that business? 10. So he's 10. We now say, this is not the question of the equation of the Lord. He said, yeah, two, three are gathered. It's even from this business. I am wrathful. I want to go and destroy. How many do I need to see there? I'll see 10. If I see 10, I'll spare them. That is the business of his heart. Not a stable case. A stable case where two or three are gathered in my name. Then I'll be. If the two shall agree, it shall be established. Stable case. But this is an unstable case. I am God is wrathful. The standard number is 10. If Abraham is the father of faith. So if 10 is located, we are more than 10 here. If if by this 
journey. You do it right. You work it right. And then at the end, by Sunday, your name is written. Then you will come and see. What do you desire that I do? Take Corona and we'll see. Okay. I have said Corona will last in July. But I repented because um, I have 10. Then he said, he said, Let not the Lord be angry. Eh, and I will speak but once more. This once. That is of faith. He's speaking of faith. Suppose 10 should be found there. Just 10. And he said, he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of God. So faith. if the wrath of God is on anything, any nation, only 10, not one. That's why it's not possible for me to go and pray, God, take a... a I told you, he told me, oh, don't disturb me. It's not about leg. It's about the truth. It's about the truth. Ten. Abraham, the man of faith, after circumcision, after I became a partaker with God, came and said, God, what do you do here? At this instant. What do you do? Give me 10. And God said, no problem. 10 is enough. 10 is good. So if after, after this time, we can, we can just go up Corona and say, Corona, cease to work henceforth. Just be terrifying those who are eating our money. <laughs> terrify them, terrify their family, but leave Leave the nation. And then Brother will say, Why are you doing this to me? Let me eat everywhere. He said, No, leave them for 10. And God, God will just say, Okay, for 10, I'm no longer. They have come to knowledge. So the journey is stable. Take away all the same knowledge, and then He will give you His knowledge in full. Take away all your naughty. Oh my God, James chapter 1, I want to please. Verse 21, he said, James 1 21. Therefore, Therefore lay aside all filthiness, lay not aside all filthiness, and overflow of wickedness. Filthiness is strange knowledge, and overflow of wickedness, that is violence. Yes. And receive with meekness the implanted word. Receive with meekness the implanted word. Which is able to save your that soul. That will save your soul. That's all. When you take away the filthiness and superfluity of nothingness, and you receive the truth, I am sure we are going somewhere. May God bless us. Amen.